Hey, good afternoon everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Welcome to my channel today. Today is Wednesday the 6th, June 6th, D-Day. Yes, D-Day the day. All the Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy or all the, the beaches over there. Yeah, anyways, uh, what's going on here today? Well, um, already obviously we got all the other well, the milking and those chores are done. I just, uh, I just, as you saw, I just gave the heifers, bread heifers, some minerals and stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna, I gotta load the feeder wagon here for the young stock and uh, feed them. And then I might, well, I might wait to put the hay on yet for the cows. But I gotta unhook the corn planter and put the bucket back on the loader tractor. And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna hook up the TG, T, T, TG 210 to the to the um the case uh, 700 plow and uh start working on that or replace i think i gotta replace a couple more plow shares uh there and then i'm gonna go out and start plowing i mean it's basically that hay that i'm gonna be plowing in is it is as tall as this yeah this stuff is getting very close to the budding stage some of it is actually starting to bud a little bit it's time to cut the, almost it's basically time we could cut this hay <laughs> But uh, the stuff that we're going to be plowing is going to be that that tall too. So there's going to be a lot of green manure going in the ground. A lot of nitrogen. It's put a lot of nitrogen in the ground. There's a lot of nitrogen. So if anybody's wondering when we plant corn, where do we get our nitrogen from? Well, we get it from the hay that we plow in and obviously from all the cattle manure and uh, any compost that we spread on. Um, that's where we get our nitrogen from. So... Yeah, if anybody's wondering, because that fertilizer over there does not have nitrogen in it. Well, it might have my very tiny, minute traces of nitrogen in it, very little, if it does. But, uh, anyways, I got to get this thing unhooked, and I guess I get the loader bucket back on, and uh, I'm going to get some feeding done, then we're going to get the plow hooked up and get some plowing done and some plowing video footage, because I know everybody's been waiting to see that, and so you're finally today... Hopefully today, it should be, should happen today. Finally, you're gonna to get to see that footage that you've all been waiting for. I apologize, but it's just the weather and getting everything done. So, anyways, I'm gonna shut up and get to work. I got the plow all hooked up and uh and uh yeah i was just trying to work with the hydraulics here to get it the best setting 
Obviously, I've never run an on land plow before, so the hydraulic thing is going to take a little bit getting used to. Different from a three point or a two point plow, I mean. And so I got to replace some of the uh, plow shares, the ones with the X on there, are the ones I'm going to replace. So I just got three to replace. And then um, I got to work with this this uh, gauge wheel here. I got to get this thing so this thing will move. So I got to set it according. This is what you use to control the depth with, um, obviously for the back. And so I need to have this working before I get out to the field. So I got to try to work with that here yet. And uh, yeah, I think other than that, the plow is like ready to go. So um, just work with that. And uh, I should be good to go here with the plow. So I'm going to keep working on it, get those uh, plowshares replaced and uh, try to get that gauge well freed up and then uh, Okay, uh, I got the plow all ready to go. Um, everything, I got the gauge wheel. Well, I just set it down a little bit, but I brought a wrench along in case I need to loosen these up to set it down more or raise it back up, I don't know. And uh, got all the land or plow shares on that needed to be on. I think it was this one. Somebody put the wrong bolts in there. They're regular thread bolts. And I thought they were the other way and I just ended up snapping the bolts off. So, um, yep, so it's ready to go. The only thing I don't know is how these things are going to be, um, how much it's pressure it's going to take to trip these. I've never run an automatic reset. I've only, I've only run a hydro reset before, so I don't know how these are going to be, but I do have a wrench. I think I do. Uh, I might have to get a wrench. Maybe I should get a wrench, bring a wrench along, tighten those up just in case or too sensitive or whatever so other than that I think I'm gonna go out and um, give it a try and see see what happens I gotta measure out my land strike out a land out there gotta measure it out and uh, see how it goes Is just break this field into half, ha two halves because it's kind of like L shaped. So I'm gonna do one side separate. So I found the middle of this one, the longest section, and so that's what I'm gonna do here first. Um, I'm just gonna start the middle, and we're gonna see what it does here. Actually, I might just follow that tire track that my brother made with the GPS. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, excuse the creaky noise here. I gotta set my camera. Uh, I'll set you guys right here for now. Thing 
so I don't know how it's gonna work here, guys. We'll start out slow. Having a hard time going in. It's going in. Now I just got to keep this thing straight. It's so weird plowing with an on-land plow versus an inferral plow or a two-point plow. I could just follow my brother's track here and keep it straight. Rock in the deferential. Oh, let's see. I better stop here. Whoa. I better get out here and... Uh, I want to check the dead furrow. There. See how deep it is. I don't know. I don't know if a guy could go deeper or not, but it ain't too bad. It's really doing a nice job though turning this thing over. Yeah, I don't know. I might set the I might set the gauge wheel up a little bit more. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a round here and see with that gauge or that gauge wheel. That wheel, once that's down in the dead furrow, then that might make a difference too, but um, it's not too bad. So anyways guys, looks like so far it's working good. So uh, I'm gonna take off later on I'll get some other shots put the camera on the plow and get some better shots we'll see I came in that last video clip you saw I was just uh, my brother took over there for a little bit um, um, he uh, I had to go I had to go eat something and then um, I gotta <laughs> I gotta unload uh, the speed here but uh, my brother he tried it and he had some problem I don't know what it was all oh, that came off he, he was trying to do it the wrong way. He's supposed to come in that way. But anyways, I got to get this done. And then I got to go back out in the field and take over for him. Try to keep the plow on the ground and keep it going. So uh, that's what I'm going to do here. Get, get this situated right and head back out. Okay. I'm headed out to the field to uh, take back over for my brother. I guess we're going to strike out a new land here in this little short, if you can see it or not, in the sun. Um, strike out a new land, so uh, yeah, I'm going to take it with my brother a little bit, and uh, look at that, I got Sylvester, Sylvester likes tractor rides, if you didn't know that, she likes tractor rides. <laughs> well, climbs right up into the cab, likes to ride along. Okay, where is my brother? He must be at the other end of the field. Um, he's out here somewhere, but I'll be taking over. I see him now, but you won't be able to see him. Yeah. 
way down there. Well, anyways, I'll well, see what, uh, we almost got this side all done. Got a little bit more to do, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, um, I guess my brother, he's gonna, he's got a little bit more to do over there on the west side of the field. And, um, I just struck out a land over here so that way when he gets done with that he's going to come over here and work at this and then um, I'm going to go back and load the feeder wagon up for the cows and get that done and then uh, when, we get done, when I get done with that um, we're going to start uh, we're going to start milking or he's going to start milking and then I'm going to come back out and plow here but uh, that way we can hopefully get this this done. I don't know if we'll get started on this piece here tonight. Maybe I'll get a land struck out here yet tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I got to go back and load the feeder wagon and uh, keep it moving here. So tomorrow we might be able to get all this all this planted tomorrow if we get this all plowed. We got to we'll disc it once and put it in. So see what happens. Okay guys, I uh, I just struck out another land on uh, this other piece. This piece is running east and west. The other one is running north and south. So um, we're just trying to, I just wanted to do, do this before it got dark out. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to see. We still got to go back over there and finish that up yet. And uh, yeah, we just wanted to get this one piece here. Let's run east and west. Get it started so that way before it gets dark. But uh, as soon as I get done with this, I'm gonna be making this path. I'm gonna run run over there and finish that up over there. So, uh, but uh, so far the plow's doing a really good job. I really like how the plow's turning things over. The uh, track seems to be handling it okay. Um, I definitely don't think it would handle seven bottoms, at least on hay ground. Uh, maybe like in corn, you know, corn stubble or oats or wheat stubble would be fine, but um, hay ground is, is more compact, you know, so making hay over three or four years or whatever, so, so yeah. So anyways, I'm getting close to the end, so I'll get back with you here later. Okay, everyone, uh, we're done. We're done with everything for the day. Milking, yes, we're done. Um, obviously, that last video clip, or whatever you want to call it, um, video, let's say a video clip that you saw. Yes, the uh, New Holland TG210 had a little oil leak through the hydraulic line. Um, that's that oil that you saw. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed. Um, that it was leaking a little bit of oil so um, it was dripping there was a pretty good drip to it so I thought I better just quit before uh, I leak out a bunch of hydraulic oil and wreck something in the tractor so yeah so I, I quit I wasn't out there for too long um, I don't know maybe 30 minutes or maybe more than that maybe 45 minutes I was out there and I just quit um, so Yes, it's just a hydraulic line that uh, it goes. I'm not for sure if it's for the brakes or if it's for like the steering, but it goes down underneath the cab. And uh, so, I don't know. Well, I'm going to call down to the dealership right away in the morning. Uh, they open up at 7.30, I think, in the morning. So I'm going to call down there, talk to one of the mechanics and see what they say. I would assume that there should be an access panel like the inside the underneath the mat and the cab that you could get to so maybe I get to the hydraulic line it's not too bad getting to it up front by the firewall it's just getting underneath the cab where it is so I suppose it's just one of those things or sometimes hydraulic lines 
they give out over time nothing you can do about it so yeah so we're gonna see what we're what 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 he says and uh not we'll have to get a loaner tractor to finish up plowing or something so we'll see we'll see what the morning brings and uh Stay tuned and find out what's going on. I mean, everything was working good until I, I, I tell I noticed that leak. Yes, I had to notice things like that. Uh, <laughs> Overall, I mean, it was going good up until that point. I mean, the plow was working good. I mean, well, there's a little issue with that one hydraulic cylinder in the front. I don't know if the, if the O-rings are getting bad or something in there, but it seems like the one cylinder wants to subtle or something kind of fast. Unless it's something with the SCV and the tractor, but I don't know why. It just wants to settle. I don't know if a guy I hooked it with pressure on it, if it would settle or not. I don't know. Then I'll have to try that and see. Then a guy knows. But so, anyways, I think I'm gonna call it it for this video today. And tomorrow is another day, and um, we'll see what happens tomorrow with the uh, with the tractor deal and um, yeah. But anyways guys that's it so please like rate comment and subscribe for more check me out on instagram and twitter at organic Damon. and um yeah and thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and a big thumbs up to everybody that has taken the time to go on and hit that subscribe button i do appreciate each and every one of you as you follow me on my journey of everyday life on an organic dairy farm what goes on around here and sometimes it's more than I wish that <laughs> goes on around here but it is what it is so anyways guys take care and I'll catch you later